Greetings, knowledge seekers. The Force is with you. My name is Priyon Joni, and you're watching Lightsaber Culture. Today, we're going to be unboxing Rey, dare I say, Skywalker's lightsaber. This is an officially licensed version, The Force Effects Elite by Hasbro, which is part of their Star Wars Black series. This is my first Hasbro lightsaber and also my first Rey replica saber. I heard about it for a great price at Ross's. Shout out to DJ Lyrics for letting me know that he spotted this at Ross's. He grabbed four of them. And then about a month later, it showed up at my local one, which my friend DJ Buddy Love actually pointed out to me. So I decided to pick up two of them and we're gonna unbox one of them now. As you might know, both Disney and Hasbro both make the licensed character lightsabers. Disney had a couple different series, including the Disney Parks version, but today the series they have is the Galaxy's Edge Legacy series. Sometimes, both Hasbro and Disney even make the same character saber, but each company has a little different take on it. And lately, Hasbro actually has upped the game in the way the lightsaber is technologically. In fact, their advanced LED blades are starting to behave and look as bright as a NeoPixel, the type you find with custom lightsabers. I'll leave you an Amazon link down below where you can get this, but let's open this up and take a look inside. All right. I don't know if I, <laughs> I don't know if I did that right, but that was a little awkward to bring out. And there's a piece here that fell out, a little ring. All right, this looks like a quick start guide. There's uh, what looks like contact information. And on this pamphlet, it's a warranty card. All right, so I'm just being careful here. This looks like the hilt. But how do I untie it? I haven't opened a licensed lightsaber since 2004 or five. So this is all new to me. Looks like it's tied here. Um, I guess you can unloosen this. Unloosen. Guess you can loosen this. <laughs> Let's actually do that from underneath. There's nothing in these uh, cardboard, they seem to just support the foam. Okay, felt that thing come off. Not gonna lie, it's not my favorite <laughs> way this was packaged. Hasbro. Okay, then over here. Alrighty, so got the blade out. I have some comments about the blade, but we'll put this on the side for now. Let's get the hilt. Man, look at that. It got some nice weathering to it and uh, the cloth that goes around the grip. So we'll put this aside. That is a cool stand right there. No idea what this ring is, but we'll figure it out. All right, let's put this back inside. All right, that was not the easiest unboxing for <laughs> not that many pieces. Like the box is made to look so cool when it's on a shelf with this non-rectangular trapezoid-like appearance. But once you open it up, it's a little complicated. But man, look at that hilt. There is some weight to it too. So this is definitely the emitter side. And we got our on off switch right here. And I know here on the pommel is the battery chamber. All right, so I got three lithium rechargeable double A's. These are the USB micro rechargeable ones where the port's right on the battery. When you have as many lightsabers as I do, it's a lot more economic than always tossing batteries. All right, put this in. Close this up. And the activator switch is right here. 
And since I don't have the blade on, it's not turning on. It reminds me of the Savi's workshop where when you try to turn it on without the blade, it makes that little electronic sound like it's like sizzling. But yeah, just looking at the detail. So in the lore, the lightsaber was actually an extension of her staff that she converted into a lightsaber. And around the grip portion, there is a cloth, like multi-layer cloth of different colors right here. And from what I learned from other reviews is that this cloth actually wears out over time and that's by design to give it more a more weathered look over time. And both ends closer to the pommel and to the emitter have this almost like a Darth Maul style emitter right here. But the whole thing looks like worn out metal. And the thing I love about it, it really feels in universe. It doesn't feel like a clean lightsaber, like a clean slate that you can weather later on. This really feels like it's supposed to be a movie prop because when I'm looking at this, I'm suddenly reminded of Galaxy's Edge. It has that look. So if you look between these spaces, there's this rusty look, this um, bronze color happening in between. And that just gives me that in-universe worn out look of Star Wars. Now I know this is supposed to come off and I think we can poke the emitter to come out. Now I've seen some custom sabers where this is mechanical, where it automatically opens up when you turn it on. In this case, kind of have to push it from underneath. So let's grab the blade. Now the blade, just from the first look, it does remind me of the Galaxy's Edge Legacy Blade with a different connector. I'm not saying that's how the LEDs are on the inside, but it has that clear transparent plastic on the outside, which if you want more diffusion, you can always sand, where you can see a little bit of the polycarbonate on the edge with a white core inside, and it has a round tip. Put this in. And the way it connects, similar to how the Galaxy's Edge legacies are. It's pop it in and twist. And now let's turn this on. That is pretty cool. See, if you notice, that is a pixel style ignition there's multiple leds animating that all the way through now how's the swing there's a little bit of smooth swing there now it's not that bright of a yellow and i know it's not that visible on camera but i can see almost like tiger shadows like tiger stripe shadows so there is a little bit of separation between the leds i know it's not that obvious here and the reason I'm mentioning that, with licensed lightsabers, they usually don't have super bright LEDs and they usually don't have the best animation. But as far as the animation goes, that is a smooth ignition. I love that. It's so unique having that little switch right there. <laughs> now, whoa, what is that? I don't know what I did, but we got some rainbow colors happening over here. <laughs> Let me turn it off. Back on. There is flash on clash. And I don't know how I did that. I gotta figure that out. As far as the balancing goes, it is a heavy hilt. But it's not so heavy where I don't feel the blade. Now, it's going to be hard to swing because the switch is right here. And if I want to grip it right here, it's a little uncomfortable because it takes up so much of your palm. So I would probably swing it with the leverage point right where the cloth is. Now, the strike, there's a little bit of a wobble to it, which is kind of its shock absorber. But with these blades, with the Hasbro blades and the Disney blades, I wouldn't go full dueling with it. It really is more for the look. You know, you can totally spin it, but try not to drop it. <laughs> I just tried to do twist to turn off. It's not a NeoPixel. So real quick, let's take the blade out for now. 
And we are going to weigh how heavy this hilt is. I think the best way is to do it like this. 1.543 pounds. So it's a pound and a half, not bad. And this little lightsaber stand, you pretty much just put it like this at an angle. Oh, okay. I figured out that ring. That ring is supposed to stay right here. So we put it like this and you can have the blade on it or off. So that looks pretty cool, especially on your desktop. And the stand, you know, you have these two pieces. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> You have these two pieces here to hold it in place and it has that Star Destroyer Death Star pattern on the back. That just looks really cool just like that. Okay, so whenever you want to put the blade on, you do have to remove the emitter. And then you stick it in. You move it counterclockwise. Then you slide the emitter on. Now there have been licensed lightsabers where there's always a piece that you have to slide on like a sleeve to lock the saber in. I know on older Luke Skywalker ones, there is a ring where you have to set and remove in order to get the blade on and off. But let's figure out some of the electronics here. Okay, this is battery. We got the battery. So when we click this this way, we ignite it. I don't know how I'm doing that. <laughs> okay, I see. There's actually a button here that I totally missed. So this button can do blaster deflect. And then if I hold it. So overall, we have flash on clash. We have blaster deflect. Or we have the molten, the molten lava effect by holding the button. If we're melting a door, just like Qui-Gon. It's called the molten blade tip effect. And then to turn it off, just switch it back. It's pretty cool because a lot of the effects here kind of remind me they're inspired by how it's done with a NeoPixel lightsaber, an unlicensed custom lightsaber, including the character replica ones. And I think it's cool that some of that technology is starting to inspire the licensed lightsabers because a lot of times people will look at the licensed lightsabers and be like, yeah, it costs a little less, but those Neo pixels look more real. And this is a nice little hybrid of that. And I just noticed something on the ignition. When you ignite it, there's like a greenish and bluish hue right at the inside of the emitter, right where you see through. See right there. So yeah, it's a very realistic lightsaber. I love it. Now, I wish I had the Disney Legacy one to compare. I know that one is just slightly a little bigger, but there is this great comparison of both of those sabers. And that's on Anakin and his angels channel right here. Now, before we take this outside, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell icon and like this video. This really helps out this channel, allowing me to bring you more lightsaber content. Spinning this lightsaber was not that easy. It was definitely balanced to be heavier on the hilt side, making the blade side feel lighter. That usually results in slower spins. It's comparable to a Sabi's Workshop lightsaber. It's more of a display piece than it is for spinning and stunts. All right, everybody. So this was my unboxing video of Ray Skywalker's Force Effects Elite Lightsaber by Hasbro, which is part of the Star Wars Black series. Now, if you want to see a screen accurate Anakin Skywalker lightsaber, watch this video right now. <laughs>